Good morning, Twitch. Good morning, Twitch. Good morning, Twitch. On this 0911, 09.11.2022. Current time is 0828 a.m. Eastern Time here in upstate New York. That'd be the southern tier of upstate New York where I live and reside. On this Sunday morning, we're doing a Twitch uh, Wednesday. Oh, shoot. You know what? How come that says <laughs> it says Wednesday morning? We need to change that. It's Sunday morning. I got the date right, but I forgot to change the Wednesday. to. That should, that should have said Saturday. How did I get Wednesday? Oh. Did I type in Wednesday? Let's put Saturday. Let's change that on the fly here. No, it's Sunday. Sunday. What am I put? I'm Sunday morning. Okay. And uh, let me get that in the queue. And then I may have to re. Let's see. Do I have to retype? Or let's see. Uh, yeah, I got to delete that. I'm not going to have Wednesday when it's a Sunday in my Twitter feed. So let's uh, let's go ahead and delete that. Delete it, and we'll retweet it here. Uh, don't want that. No, we don't want that. Um, for Rich Roberts at Fireman Rich retweeting this broadcast. <laughs> As far as that goes, after I got the, uh, let's see, yeah, that's Sunday. Okay, we're going to retweet it. And um, um, we're getting our day started. We've been up for a couple an hour, a couple hours almost now, as far as that goes. I'm on a day off today. I did work yesterday at the day job. Uh, easy money, as I'd like to say. Had a great time working with some people I don't normally work with. And as far as that goes, so yeah, there we go. Sunday morning coffee, Twitch broadcast. We got that squared away. And uh, uh, we do have, being a morning coffee show, we do have the morning coffee. We're still di drinking Death Wish. This is Death Wish. No, um, I'll probably go back to my teaspoon of unsweetened cocoa in my coffee uh, here as far as that goes. Uh, uh, what is it? Let me just turn that down a tad and stuff like that. I don't want to blow you out on the volume here. I'm trying to be a, a, aware of that, of the volume levels, because I'm, I'm a loud talker as far as that goes. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I'm a loud talker. Uh, but we are uh, finishing up the, uh, the Death Wish coffee. I think uh, I asked the missus before coming live here on Twitch that uh, uh, do we have, how much more do we have? <laughs> because I know. Um, it's getting uh, a little scarce there as far as that goes and uh, we got enough for another I think tomorrow morning it might be uh, a little bit of a mixture as far as that goes and um, but uh, we are in a casual Sunday morning mode here we've had a couple of uh, pastries apples uh, a apple pastries that the missus made yesterday and uh, okay yeah we tweeted it out okay and um, so we're getting the day started here uh, I don't normally uh, oh Randy drive after work he's just coming on on the um, on the um, the YouTube he's doing the YouTube he, he does twitch in the morning I watched twitch uh, uh, earlier a few hours back I woke up uh, before going back to sleep. I did watch his drive into work. He's doing uh, the live YouTube uh, drive after work. Uh, we don't normally do a Sunday uh, Twitch broadcast, but uh, it looks like I'm going to be probably doing more on the Saturdays and Sundays that I'm off at, as far as that goes. Uh, and the reason for that is uh, vocal is changing. We'll get into the vocal. I'll go over the vocal. I've talked about it enough. I don't want to really get uh, beat it over the uh, keep on beating on it and stuff. It's just uh, it is what it is. And um, uh, I just plan on uh, probably being more on Twitch now because Twitch is my mainstay uh, as far as that goes. But if a platform changes, you have to change also and uh, as far as that goes and uh, uh, I still like vocal 
but they're doing some changes where it doesn't look like uh, um, I don't really care for the changes and stuff and we had enough changes over there on HAP so uh, plus the changes they're doing with it still being in beta and uh, they're going to be closing down the old platform as far as that goes but uh, today is Sunday so we're going to have <coughs> some football <coughs> excuse me for a moment I got to clear my throat there um, we're going to have some football today, as far as that goes. Uh, of course, last Thursday, and I said this yesterday, the Buffalo Bills just romped on the uh, Los Angeles Rams, um, which makes me think that uh, uh, the Rams are a good team, but, uh, I mean, I think the Buffalo Bills just send a big statement throughout the whole league, as far as in, in the NFL. It's like the Bills are for real this year. So we'll see what happens. Um I did watch some football. We did have the football game on yesterday. We watched the uh, Texas uh, Longhorns uh, almost beat Alabama, upsetting them, and uh, they could have won that game. I was I predicted I was root for the uh, Longhorns. I don't get that much into uh, college football, but uh, uh, during the course of the day, we had it on uh, and watching it at various stages. Uh, uh, as far as that goes, while we're watching the farm, in a sense. As far as doing our things, and it was very quiet today. <laughs> I forgot what Saturdays used to be like. Of course, Labor Day weekend it was a buzz of uh, activity, but <clears throat> it's a <clears throat> excuse me. I'm sorry, Jackie. Jackie's over here on the chair, and um, so I did a broadcast yesterday morning before going into the day job, and um, uh, I said, "What the hell? Let me go ahead and do one this morning." As um, and I'm setting up and getting my tweets out and this morning and I started just moving things without even thinking. It's like, wait a minute, I'm setting up for a broadcast here. It's almost like automatic. Uh, currently here in the southern tier of upstate New York, it uh, it's a little wet out. It did have some rain, it looks like. Uh, it is a little wet out. Um, uh, currently 62 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, as far as that goes at this uh, current time of 8.35 a.m. Uh, periods of, of rain, high is 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds out of the south by southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Chance of rain is 90%. Rainfall nearly a quarter of an inch. So we're going to get some rain today as far as that goes. Uh, sun will rose this morning at 6.42 a.m., which uh, was about uh, almost two hours ago, an hour and uh, 55 minutes ago, a couple hours ago it rose. And we get, we still have cloudy skies. Oh, there's a squirrel. Squirrels are running around out in the yard. Uh, sun will be setting this morning at 7.24 p.m. tonight, just before the uh, game tonight between, uh, what's the game tonight? I think it is... Uh, Oh, the Cowboys and Buccaneers, which I'll probably I'll be watching that one. I think the Bucks will win, or the Cowboys will beat the Bucks. Everybody's looking at the Bucks like they're a good team and stuff. They're a good team, but that's what they said about the LA Rams. So I think the Cowboys they might. Let's see if they can make a statement like the Buffalo Bills. I say that because of my fantasy football league. <laughs> Zach is is it Zach? Who do I have? I have the quarterback there? Who's the quarterback? The quarterback for uh, the Dallas Cowboys. Um, where is he? Where's the quarterback? Oh, there he is. Dak. I call him Zach. It's Dak. Dak Pearson. Um, so hopefully he has a great year this year because he we got him on an auto pick and I don't even want to go into the auto pick on my fantasy football league because it's a money league. We had a good chunk of money, and we we almost won last year. And we plan on we were planning on winning this year, but not with the picks that we have. <laughs> but um, continue with the, the the temperatures around the world with the uh, their current times in Hano. Oh, how come we don't have the? Oh, I know. I got to wait for this to, to catch up. Okay, there we go. Okay, there it caught up in Honolulu at uh, two thirty seven a.m. this morning. Um, it is partly cloudy skies with 77 degrees Fahrenheit in um, Phoenix, Arizona. Again, partly cloudy skies at 5:37 a.m. Uh, this morning, 81 degrees Fahrenheit in Albuquerque, New Mexico, 
at 637 a.m. it's cloudy with 54 degrees Fahrenheit. In Chicago, Illinois, the Windy City at 737 a.m. it's 72 degrees <coughs> part or cloudy, light clouds. Uh, 838 here in New York, down in New York City, it's 73 degrees, or about 10 degrees higher than us. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> cloudy like we have here. Uh, across the pond in Cork, Ireland at 138 p.m. It's 64 degrees. They've got uh, part cloudy skies. In Milan, where it's sunny, uh, at 238 p.m. in the afternoon, it's 82 degrees. In Riyadh, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, at 3.38 p.m., it is 108 degrees Fahrenheit. In, um, in New Delhi, India, partly cloudy and sunny skies, 93 degrees at 6.08 p.m. In Mumbai, south of New Delhi, India, at 6.08 p.m., it is 84 degrees Fahrenheit. In Kuala Lumpur, uh, at 8.38 in the evening, clear skies. 79 degrees Fahrenheit in Tokyo, Japan at 9.38 p.m. It's 75 degrees Fahrenheit and down there and down under in Australia at 10.39 p.m. in Melbourne. It is 52 degrees Fahrenheit, dark cloudy skies. But over in Sydney, it's 57 degrees, same time, 10.30, well, 10.39 p.m. now and clear skies as far as that goes. So there's our world times and uh, temperatures around the world as far as that goes and um, and the missus is up and about all ready to go out and do her thing in the backyard <laughs> um, I did do a tweet for the, our thought for the day uh, give you something to think about and I've used this one before because it looks it, it looks very familiar by General uh, George S. Patton, courage is fear holding on a minute longer. So we, we all get fearful, but if you hold that fear a minute longer, it turns into, you're holding it, you know, it, it turns into your courage because you're, that, that one minute longer, you're thinking, I can do this. You overcome your fear. So that's uh, the quote there and the thought for the day from George S. Patton. Courage is fear holding on a minute longer. Courage. You know, the, the was it the, uh, was it the Tin Man? No, he wanted a heart. It was the lion in uh, uh, the Wizard of Oz that wanted courage. And he had courage. He just overcome that fear a minute. Hold on to that fear, but overcome it at, in that one minute as far as that goes. So good uh Good uh, uh, quote for the day. They're all good. Also today, uh, it is 9-11, uh, so uh, recognizing the, um, um, those that have fallen on this, on this day back, uh, um, back in, down there in New York City with the Twin Towers, um, with the, the, the event that took place down there that uh, uh, we w we all wish otherwise, but uh, um, we still remember and we won't forget. And uh, um, you know we have to remember. And uh, have we done much since then? I don't know. That's that's up to up for discussion. And I say discussion because I don't debate. I think uh, uh, some stuff has been done, but uh, um, as far as that goes, but. Uh, we still remember. We have to remember, and uh, it's a weekend there that uh, we're remembering the passing of the Queen, Queen Elizabeth II, uh, who passed uh, at age 93. So uh, a pretty uh, uh, memorable weekend here, as far as that goes, with the, those two significant, uh, well, one very significant individual, and uh, uh, remembering an event that. Uh, like I said, we all wish otherwise as far as that happening and stuff. So, um, so let's see on the uh, broadcast. Oh, let's let's see. Do we have national days? You know, the, the real true national day is 9/11. But uh, so I'm not going to go ahead and go in. Let's see. There's, well, <clears throat> they got Patriots Day. Let's see, Patriots Day. Okay, Patriots Day. Patriots Day, September 11th. 
uh, honors the memories of nearly 3,000 innocent victims who died in the September 11th, uh, 2001 terrorist attack at 2011. Each year, American dedicates this day to remember those who died and uh, the first responders who risked their own lives to save others. Hashtag Patriots Day. So there we have it. That's our, that's our national uh, day today. It's sort of an unofficial national holiday in a sense of remembrance um, because it, uh, it, uh, it was on the scale of uh, Pearl Harbor, which uh, when that took place after World War II, who would imagine something like that happening again, especially in a major uh, metropolitan city as far as that goes. So um, um, I don't really care for that celebrate, so I might scratch that out when I do the uh, do the picture. I don't. It's uh, we're not celebrating it. We're remembering, as far as that goes. Um, it's in memory, uh, as far as that goes. So I think I will. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and blot that out. That, that's an easy easy blot, as far as that goes. Taking care of the bird feeders. <clears throat> and the bird feeders are going to be fed today. Let's see what's the bird bird feeder report is. The bird feeder report is the the bird feeder out back here is empty, and the missus is going out to fill it up. So they know the the birds will be greatly appreciated of, of that. <clears throat> Man, my my throat. Let me get some water here. My throat is sort of. Mm. <clears throat> Always good to have some water. Um. I did see last uh, this morning. Also, our uh, good friend Tony D was broadcasting here on Twitch. I guess he was using Real Stream, and uh, I watched his broadcast over there on uh, on the uh, the YouTube. He uses, I think, he broadcasts from YouTube or from Real Stream to Twitch and and um, and uh, YouTube. That's Tony D there. He he was talking about football, and in his. <coughs> And Tony, I know you, excuse me for another minute. It's nice to have volume control. <laughs> of course, Jack is all upset. But Tony D and um, I can't, uh, the, his, uh, his one co-broadcaster co, uh, there on nonsensical nonsense or whatever it is, um, they were talking about the Chicago Bears and I guess Tony feels the Chicago Bears are significant. Yeah, they made the playoffs. They were a wild card and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but uh, they're a do-nothing team. They're a do-nothing team. Uh, if, if they were that significant, you know, just like the Bears of old, uh, they're not even close as far as that goes. Uh, uh, so uh, are they going to be significant? I don't know. Who did I pick? I think I, be I, think I picked... Uh, who are the Bears playing today? The Bears are playing Eagles. Brown. Oh, 40, I'm picking the 49ers are going to trounce them. The 49ers are a team uh, as far as I go. But there's a saying that goes at the beginning of the season, any team can go to the Super Bowl uh, as far as that goes. It's just how they play their games. And uh, But Chicago has not impressed me over the years. They... They barely got, if they get into the playoffs, they barely get into the playoffs. <coughs> and they don't last the first round, um, as far as that goes. You all right? She's coughing, too. I don't know why. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm pretty excited about the, the, the football that's starting today. And uh, so you're coughing, too, huh? No, I just got <coughs> Yeah, me too. I can't get rid of it. It's, it. Jack is getting a little perturbed here as far as me coughing and stuff. Drink some more water. So it was good seeing Tony D there this morning. He said he'll be up today and stuff like that. I'm going to try and catch him on his broadcast <coughs> and, um, and such. And he's also a, a broadcaster that's been over there and where I broadcast as vocal as far as I get onto the vocal uh, subject there. Vocal, <coughs> I'm going to still use it. I'm gonna. I probably. I, I guess I decided not to uh, be, uh, not to use it as much as I would. Uh, as far as on the weekends, I think I'm gonna be using more Twitch 
as far as that goes. Uh, Twitch is solid as far as uh, broadcasting for me. Vocal is all right. Um, I've used Vocal, uh, the newer Vocal here for almost a year, and um, uh, but they have something that came out. Uh, um, if you go to Vocal.com, you'll see at the top bar where it has Vocal Discovery. There's a pricing. Um, pricing option now that uh, Vocal has rolled out and get started for free or kick it up a notch I don't think I can kick it up a notch on Vocal Vocal is good because you can bring somebody in and you got the four squares and, but you have three tiers of um, three tiers uh, for broadcasting which is it's, uh, from the Twitter traffic that I had back and forth with uh, Tony D a couple days ago <clears throat> he says they're the same as uh, real stream and Streamyard. Streamyard, i've used i thought i've used restream i haven't um but those are pro platforms that you can bring somebody up into the broadcast uh you can do this on on vocal and i guess they're gonna they've also announced that they're going to get rid of uh, the uh, uh, the old vocal so i'm gonna have to uh, that's another app i'm gonna have to get rid of along with uh that i won't be able to use anymore and I, I still have the Haps app. I still got faith that Haps may come back. But I don't have the Reach app. Haps went to Reach. It was looking like you could simulcast on that. Uh, and it looked like they opened up. And then they just did a, um, a 180 as far as they're doing something. I don't have no idea. Um, they're leeching and um, they're uh, shirt tailing off of TikTok videos and stuff like that. So I, I, I just didn't, that doesn't set well with me. I will probably use vocal, but it will be um, using it, like I've stated before, <clears throat> the free version, which allows five hours of recording. Still not happy with that. That should be up at least to 10 hours vocal. Come on. And then, uh, but you have the basic, which gives you 20 hours. If I'm paying $15, you better give me at least uh, 30 to 40 hours, maybe even 50 hours or something like that. <clears throat> And uh, I don't know how they got this, but the, the, here's the thing. If you do and any one of them, if, or the, what, five hours, and then for the 15, you got 20 hours of recording time. But if you're live for five hours, and you've used up your five-hour live stream aspect, how are you going to go back on there, that, and you didn't record anything? How are you going to use that five hours of record time? That doesn't make sense. They, 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 make, they put it up there. This is why I don't really care vocal if you're listening. Um, <clears throat> how can you do that? If I live stream for five hours and I don't record, normally I do record, okay? But if I don't, you're always going to have more live stream time to record time, you know, you know, as far as that goes. So, um, and then there's that, uh, the vocal watermark. Oh, okay, yeah, they had that on, uh, what's that pl uh, program I use? Uh, Manicam. Manicam has that. <laughs> So that's what I'd say. Vocal is in that realm. Manicam, back in the day when I was on Blab, Manicam was great. It's still a good platform if you want to use it, but I've just switched over to OBS. Uh, so Manicam has a, uh, and I know StreamYard and uh, uh, Restream, they have the logo up in the, uh, uh, let me get this here, up in the, uh, I think it's, yeah, it's up in this corner they'll have it uh, but you're bringing four people up uh, vocals gonna have that for the free and I, I just it's not good I don't like that and uh, um, but the other thing I don't like about the pricing for the free is you live stream to Facebook and YouTube whoop de do you know I would have loved to see twitch in there but you can't use twitch unless you uh, um, I think you could broadcast a Twitch on the old vocal because they had an uh, an RS, well, what they call that, an art. You could put the stream key in there and stuff like that. They don't have that on the new vocal. Unless you get the basic uh, $15 a month or the pro uh, for $35 a month. So, so the pricing vocal, I just... It's in the suck. It sucks, and I I, I made it a little. I, I put up a, a link to a a meme that when I responded back and Tony liked it. It's it's from South Park. It's just like 
uh, one of the characters saying, it's stupid, thank you, it's stupid. Yeah, and I, that's what the category I'm putting this in. With all due respect, Focal, I know you gotta do what you gotta do, but me as, I'm just being upfront, and um, I will still use it, occasionally, maybe. Uh, I'm not gonna be using it as much, as far as that goes, because it's, it's, uh, I'm, the traction, over the last six months or so that where I have used it uh, uh, I've been up on there with Tony D and um, uh, Chris Tech it's uh, as far as actually straightening out my volume <laughs> situation or issue that I may have had um, but for five hours it's nobody there's nobody really using it that in uh, that came out of the haps broadcasting realm they, they tinker with it um i was trying to see if i can get on a regular schedule of using it and it's just not happening so i'm going to stay right with twitch and the other day or yesterday morning uh the morning broadcast that i did do um that wasn't a, it wasn't a twitch broadcast it was a youtube broadcast same format here but i just recorded it on obs and then i uploaded it so you know that works that works for me, you know, as if I, if I want to use YouTube and stuff like that. If I just don't feel like uh, <clears throat> having a live broadcast, I can record it live, but it's not live on the internet. It's still a live broadcast. It's it's not editing or anything like that. Um, it's sort of a half-ass live, I guess. But it's being recorded and then it's uploaded, so it's it's pretty much the same. You just don't have the comments and stuff like that. So, um, and yesterday I just didn't have time. Um, uh, to have the comments up to uh, include into the broadcast and it looks like on this broadcast I'm not having any comments because nobody is here there's just myself as far as that goes which is uh, and, and that's usually the case when I'm over there on vocal <laughs> so it's like um, but I know um, I will be getting people here on the replay um, as far as that goes uh, uh, as far as that go, you know watching it and I greatly appreciate that the replays uh, we do get the replays and um, and and such that uh, um, that I get some I get some some okay so I get some good numbers for me I get good numbers they're not you know I think I get a replay of like maybe 15 to 25 30 that's fine I like that that's that's right in the zone that's more than what I would think if I get five you know if I get like even two five two to five Hey, that's I'm great with that because that's not usually the case over there on anchor.fm uh, let's see oh I got the tab up here for uh, for uh, uh, some interesting uh, interesting uh, uh, history let's see what we have in history good news history for November or September let's don't get ahead of ourselves September uh, let's see 193 years ago today American landscape painter Thomas Hill was born in War Witcher Wisher England loosely affiliated with the Hudson River School he joined um, this movement of American landscape painters in awe of North American natural beauty and his time in the Sierra uh, Nevada mountains of California and the White Mountains of New Hampshire. Uh, White Mountains of New Hampshire are gorgeous and it contributed their splendor uh, to the majority of his canvas. So, and uh, let's see, moving to the United States from Birmingham with his family at age 15 he would uh, marry a local Massachusetts local marry a local of Massachusetts and have nine children one of his daughter his daughter Anne Mary Hill had a son whose painting captivated America like few others uh, Norman Rockwell oh wow okay yeah Norman Rockwell great painter painter uh, on this day in 1906, Mahat Gandhi coined the term true force to characterize nonviolent movement. He called it, I can't even pronounce that, but it, it represents true force. 
The Boston Red Sox in 1918 won the World Series, wouldn't repeat for 86 years. Uh, on this day, 1962, the Beatles recorded the first, their first signal, um, Love Me Do, at EMI Studios in London, 1962. In 1978, I was in the Air Force for one year, Jimmy Carter, uh, Egyptian President uh, Sadat, and Israel Premier, Premier Prime Minister B uh, Begin agreed on a framework for peace in the Middle East, and that was huge back in the day. Do we have... I, I think we have more peace than what we did back in the, the late 70s there. And let's see, Pete Rose in 1985 of the Cincinnati uh, Reds recorded his 4,192nd hit, breaking Ty Cobb's career record. And uh, the Yankees won last night, so they, they didn't win the series. The, 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 the uh, Rays there won two out of the three, so they picked up, I think they're, they're back to three and a half games ahead of the Rays. Let's see, in 1997, Scots voted to create their own parliament after 291 years. Uh, after a 291-year union with uh, uh, England. So they have their own, they, they're not a country unto their own, but they have their own government, in a manner of speaking there. So uh, I, I think in the next couple of years, they will be, uh, uh, be a country unto their own, as far as that goes. And uh, let's see, 61 years ago today, the World Wildlife Fund, the WWF, and that's they had to, that used to be the initials for the wrestling, but they had to change it because of copyright, was formally was formed to save uh, diverse species across the planet with 35 million supporters and um, offices in nearly 100 country countries. The WWF has helped to establish uh, protect areas in the uh, Galapagos National Park and worked to uh, uh, conserve iconic species including pandas, tigers, rhinos, and elephants, all of which are making a comeback in a sense, giving these animals and many more a brighter future. So thank you WWF. Uh, let's see. And that's about it there for the, the world history. Let's see. Um, yeah. So that's interesting. Okay, I can do, I can get rid of those. Let's see. I we have an interesting articles, but I'm not going to read an interesting articles. I just sort of like a sort of scaled back uh, broadcast here. And uh, let's see. We've been on for for oh 30, 35 minutes. Okay. So we got everything in at 35 minutes and stuff like that. And still nobody in the broadcast. That's okay no problem there and stuff so and like I said to get vocal or vocal um, so I'm left with uh, twitch which I say is it's been solid um, I know there's some people let's just say one or two broadcasts that I broadcast are not happy with twitch or you know as far as uh, I think it's a solid platform you know for uh, the pitcher and that's the one thing about vocal on the replay the pitcher sound was always good is, is great uh, uh, but the pitcher was good but always a little pixelated or faded a little bit and stuff like that I don't know what that you know as far as saving it so that's and it's still a beta, so am I going to pay for that? No, nah. no. Nah. I'd be more apt to pay for uh, for Twitch, but Twitch, um, you know, from viewers that watch this, and if they're not subscribed, which, uh, you know, if you want to be subscribed, go ahead. But I, I much prefer you to watch the commercial. You know, it, it, I appreciate the subscriptions, but I don't need the money that I don't need the money at all, really, and stuff like that. So. When you buy a subscription, you um, or purchase a subscription, you uh, you can't you, you don't watch the uh, the commercials. Watch the commercials. The commercials I I, I used to be years back uh, uh, totally against commercials like that. But if it supports the platform you're on, and I can do this for it doesn't cost me anything. I I have no problem with that. Some people do. Well, that's their bag of donuts. I don't really care, you know. Um, uh, I am an affiliate. Uh, I'm thankful for that. But if I if I wasn't, would I would I lose any sleep? No. 
Uh, there's some people they're they're adamant about being a, an affiliate and adamant about being a partner. Um, you know, the different uh, takes on uh, what how Twitch chooses their uh, let's well, say partner. I don't really care. It doesn't register. Um, I, I hear people complaining about that. Just you know, you need to look in a mirror. Just be thankful for what you have. You know, as far as that goes. Yeah, I know some people are trying to make a buck. That's your, which is fine. But I don't agree or don't really care too much. Or it doesn't register in my register when somebody complains. Oh, I'm not a partner, and I should be a partner and stuff. And it, it just. Uh, you know, you have your opinion, which is all fine, but I'm just saying what my opinion is. I don't really care. I could give two hoots. Like I said, um, being an affiliate, being a partner, that's that's somebody else's bag of donuts. I don't I could care less. I just appreciate the, the bear you know, being able to be a broadcaster and I don't even consider myself an amateur, to be able to come online and um, talk about things. Talk about things that are not controversial. Because I, I made it a rule that I will not I will spout my opinion once in a great while but um, it's I'm here to have fun and uh, to drink coffee too it's coffee I gotta get some more coffee I think there's one more cup left and um, I'll be right back stand by I think you can still hear me and um, as far as that goes I'm gonna I'm gonna go and get some coffee to refuel because I want to stand a little longer. I'm just going to hang out here as far as that goes. So uh, let me turn up the volume on my earbuds. Yeah, I got the earbuds on here so I can hear myself. Yeah, okay, you can still hear me. So this this will be a good sound check. So I'm uh, walking into the kitchen to uh, get the coffee. Yes, there is another cup of coffee. on what the, uh, the volume level is out here in the kitchen. I'm hearing myself on the earbuds in the kitchen. And this is usually where the missus is at in the kitchen here. And, uh, oh, I got a banana. I can take a banana. Oh, you can't hear me. <laughs> you can barely hear me. I'm hearing my, barely hearing myself on a, as I'm walking back towards the computer desk, and um, I got my second cup of. I'm like, this is almost. This is the last cup of coffee here. Yeah, and I got a banana. A banana. Yeah, I could. I could see myself coming back. I, I've got this. I'm monitoring the. Uh, I'm monitoring the broadcast here on the. Uh, the surface three so I've already had two pastries I'm gonna have a little banana here as far as that goes I'm eating a banana on twitch so how's that and uh, Jack is he's resting comfortably so that's good my well, banana's good so uh, so today's going to be a, a laid back, lazy Sunday. There's nothing really planned to do because the missus already mowed the lawn. And we have weather coming in here in the southern tier of upstate New York. And um, like I said, we got the football games, which um, I already have one win. So I got my list here of my picks so just to go over my picks I'm picking the Lions beating the Eagles I'm be the 49ers beating the Bears the Bengals and uh, in Tony D's broadcast he said that the Bengals they they could be a good team um, they're at home and they're playing the Steelers so they I think this, the Bengals will be charged up to win that game I'm picking the Patriots to win against the Dolphins. These are all 1 o'clock games right now. The Browns, I think they're going to win over the Panthers. I'm picking the Colts to win at the te win over the Texans. They'll be down there in Texas. The Saints winning over the Falcons. 
And here's my first one that could uh, be a, an upset. They're at home, but I'm picking the Jets. That's Tony D's team. T Tony, I'm on the Jets bandwagon. I will, every week, I will say the Bills will win, the, uh, the Jets will win, and the Giants will win. Even though the Jets and Giants will probably lose more than half their games. Um, I'm picking uh, the, uh, the Jaguars over the Commanders. That's the Washington team. Those are all 1 o'clock games. Now we go into the afternoon games. The Packers. I think people are making more out of the Packers. Um, I'm not an Aaron Rodgers fan. Uh is he as good as he was a few years back? No. I think this is going to be the year that uh, um, he's going to feel his age, I think. The same goes with Tom Brady. I think Tom Brady is not going to be... He should have stayed retired. That's just my view. I don't think he should have come back. I think he did all that he could do. Some people say Tampa Bay is a good... We'll see the first game. I got the, the late night game tonight at 8.20. It's the Buccaneers. They're at Dallas, but I think the Cowboys will um, will be sending a statement. I think, hopefully, and then the New York Giants are down there in Tennessee with the Titans. And uh, okay, thank you, Jay. Oh, Double J's saying thank you for the uh, on the quote there. Um, I'm picking the Giants over the the Titans. That 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 could be a loss. I don't know. I'm. Uh, the Chargers over the Raiders, they're going to be at home. The L.A. Chargers, I keep on calling them the San Diego Chargers. And then uh, the Chiefs are going to be in Arizona winning over the Cardinals. And again, the Bucks losing to the Cowboys. I'm picking the Cowboys. And then for Monday night, um, Brian, or, uh, oh, who's the quarterback for The quarterback for the Broncos, Russell. Russell goes back to uh, Seattle. He's quarterback in the Broncos. I got the Broncos over Seattle Seahawks. So there's my NFL picks as far as that goes. And, uh, and let's see. I think the one viewer I have is me on the uh, Surface 3. I think. So it'll be interesting. It's, um, you know, baseball is still going on. Uh, I'm still aware of the Yankees. Um, as far as that goes, uh, trying to win uh, their division. Um, let's see, a broadcaster, there's me and viewers. We got a couple lingering people as far as viewers, so. Well, let's see. I have to check these viewers and stuff out. Um, put that on the notepad to check later and just excuse me for just a minute oh, let's see it's shift what is it it's, it's control insert okay I gotta highlight it first okay control insert And then shift insert for pacing, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, I'll check that later. So there we have the um, the scores. Let's see, is there any, uh, let's see, NFL news. Let's go over that. That's something. Hang out for here for a few more minutes. Any last minute? I would normally have a TV on with the sports guys this morning, but uh, like I said, it's a very relaxing day start of a relaxing day which is good let's see um, uh, nothing really stands out you know most kind of music has roots everything uh, Deshaun Watson must undergo treatment for his clinic says he's on the right path okay that's an injury um, there's no really outstanding, let's see, two Justin Herb rookie cards sold for a million dollars. Oh, okay. 
How will NF Falcons kicker became? Oh, okay, it must be. There's no real news in the NFL this morning. So, um, what about the regular news? Let's check the regular news as far as that goes. And uh, let's see, where's the news at? Let's check the regular news. What's happening in the world as we speak? Nothing there, nothing there. Oh, we had an earthquake in uh, New Guinea. At least four died. Oops. Magnitude 7.6. I think Erica, Lady Cat, said there was an earthquake uh, beginning of the week up there in Washington State. Let's see. Uh, nothing there. Uh, Fury as ancient asteroid impact turn living things and oh, that's nothing there. Voyager one's mission to outer planet begins. Well, that was four days ago. Voyager one. They they've reacquired the signal with Voyager one. Let's see what that article says. Hey, Melanie one seven. Good morning. How are you doing? How you doing? You, uh, I've been on for about an hour. You're my first chatter. <laughs> That's which is okay. But uh, Melanie one seven coming in, and I got, I've got the notes here. Um, she coming in from uh, Rockingham, Rockhampton, North Queens, North Queensland. I think it is. Yeah, North Queensland in Australia. See, did I get that right? See, I got my notes. <laughs> my notes are important. Yeah, I'm just uh, just going over the uh, the news here, and uh, as far as that goes, yes, uh, Center Queensland, Center Queensland. What did I put down? Did I put Center? Uh, center Queensland. Let me let me update that. Center Queensland, Center North Queensland, Center North Queensland. Which, uh, and I appreciate being here. I'm just. Uh, I'm going to probably uh, be exiting stage left here. We've been on for uh, about coming up on 50 minutes and stuff. I'm just looking at this article. Central. Yep. Central. But this is Voyager 1 mission to outer planets begins. The Voyager mission was designated to take advantage of the rare geometrical arrangement of outer planets in the late 70s. This, this happened uh, just before I, I went into the active Air Force. And um, in 1970s, uh, uh, the mission continued through the 80s, which allowed four planet tours with a minimum of propulsion and trip time. This, uh, this laid out Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, which occurred, this, this alignment occurs every 175 years. So they were taking advantage of the gravitational pull um, to, that allows a spacecraft on a particular flight path to swing from one planet to the next without needing a large onboard propulsion system. So you save fuel. Where I don't know. It's, it's, it's I I'm not usually here on a Sunday anyway, Mel. So uh, and I'm not going to be broadcasting uh, Lord of the Rings this afternoon. I'm on a day off today. I worked yesterday. I had to do some overtime covering for a, a co-worker of mine. Um, so I'm I'm off today. Today, American football, the, the National Football League starts. Uh, Tony D, he's gonna, he said last on his last night uh, broadcast, he's going to be on later today. He'll be, he'll be on about 11 o'clock um, local time, which is in about, what, two hours? And I, I think where you're at, it's, oh, it's, all, it's, it's pushing towards midnight your time. So he, it, it's, he'll be probably... If it's 11 o'clock here, it's going to be right around 1 o'clock. Yeah, it's 11.16 p.m. Okay, yeah, that's what I got in, um, as far as that goes. So um, he said he will be on 11 o'clock local time here, which would mean, uh, let's see, 11, 12. It would be a 1 o'clock a.m. in the morning for your time. You're starting your Monday <laughs> by the time he comes on. So um, that's what it, that, at least that's what he said on his, um, his uh, broadcast from last night. So... Uh, um, and it's going to be football related. Uh, let's see, NASA's Voyager 1 spacecraft launched after Voyager 2 because Voyager 2 uh, on a faster, shorter trajectory 
this uh, back in uh, September 5th, 1977. So, uh, oh, this this came out September 7th. This is off of the NASA page, as far as that goes. Uh, it's hard to catch people with different. Yeah, exactly. Um, I think when I broadcast in the morning, I found over the, the well when I was over on Haps and I did this type of broadcast, and here on Twitch. Uh, I think the morning time s suited me as far as to try and get the best. That for me, that's the best time. 1977, I was seven. Yeah, I was. Uh, I was. Uh, um, I was 19. I was going into the Air Force, and uh, matter of fact, it'll be um, it'll be on the 16th, I believe. Um, let me check here. Yeah, yeah, I was going in the Air Force. I was 19 in 19. I graduated uh, in in 1977, June of 1977, um, and I went into the Air Force on uh, the uh, Air Force's birthday, as far as that goes, and uh, the, that was back. Uh, September. Well, I was there. It's the birthday for the Air Force, United States Air Force is September 18th. I, I think I was at basic training on September 17th, so the day before. So I was uh, just entering the United States Air Force. I was 19 years old. I was a young 19. <laughs> now I'm an old man. I I don't know when it's. I think about. It. I think I'm. Sometimes I think I'm like I'm 19. Of course, the missus she she says sometimes I act like I'm uh, a child again. As that goes. <laughs> so, but um, yeah, so I'm not surprised nobody be in here. And I'm, I, again, I appreciate you being here as far as that goes uh, as we get towards the end of uh, the. Um, let's see, this. And this year, the 18th, it will be the 75th anniversary of the United States Air Force. Uh -huh, my husband is the same. Yeah, okay, yeah. So, um, and the 18th is, uh, what, today's 11th? Uh, um, so next Sunday will be the Air Force, the United States Air Force's birthday. So that's significant. That is significant um, as far as that goes. Let's see, anything on the Twitter feeds? Let's see, let's check the Twitter feeds. And then I'm going to have to go and get, get, get my day started here. And Mel, you need to go get some sleep then, right? <laughs> as far as that goes. But again, um, our wedding anniversary is on the seventh. Oh, the seventeenth of this month. Well, ha okay, happy uh, anniversary. That's 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 cool. Uh, let's see, Twin Towers. Okay. Uh, Benghazi ten years later, thirteen hour. Okay, Benghazi. That's uh, that's news. Okay. Of course. Uh, um, I guess in the news with the Queen passing, I guess uh, Prince Harry and his wife are back, and uh, they actually I seen the film clip yesterday that uh, I mean before the Queen passed, I guess when she had her jubilee, uh, you got the impression that Prince Harry and Prince William they weren't on good terms, but they I guess they they put that aside uh, after uh, the loss of their grandmother as far as the queen and uh i i like that that that's good you know because it's it's that's when family rises to the top and that's the most important thing so uh, that was a good a good picture as far as to see that yesterday no they they weren't on good terms yeah that's the impression i got and stuff which uh you know prince william i guess he doesn't want to i still call him prince he still always be a prince prince william or prince harry i should say prince harry will always be Prince Harry they need yeah they need each other I, I yeah they went through a lot they went a lot went through a lot with their mother passing you know in that tragic accident uh, years back and um, you know and this is uh, um, you know when you have a death in the family it's a subtle reminder of um, how precious life is as far as that goes and um, that was very good to see them uh, uh, now Couple months from now, we'll be probably back to more, back to their their antics and stuff like that. But uh, time will tell on that. So, uh, uh, but uh, let's see what else is going on. Anything? I am not seeing anything on. And I did say, uh, Mel, just to recap, 
as far as uh, for this broadcast that uh, I'm going to probably be broadcasting more on the weekends here on Twitch instead of doing the vocal. That's the other platform that I would broadcast that you would see on my Twitter feed. Vocal has a new price points and stuff like that, and I'm not liking what they have for the people that use the free service. So um, time is important, even if you're using the free service, and they're not... They're only offering like five hours of live streaming and recording. And um, if that was 10 hours, I might be on there a little bit more. But uh, the, uh, what was the other thing? I could take or not, but it's a, uh, um, they don't, you can't simulcast to Twitch. You can simulcast onto the free platform for uh, uh, what? You can send it to Facebook or YouTube. But to be able to broadcast over to Twitch, you have to pay fifteen dollars a month, or thirty-five dollars a month. What you know, you got to be do the pay service, and uh, I'm 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 just sort of making it known that I, I I will probably be here more on Twitch than uh, than I'm normally at and stuff like that. So uh, let's see what else. Anything? No, that's about it as far as that goes. So we're we're pushing what fifty-eight minutes. I'll, I'll, I'll sit. We'll sit tight here for another two minutes as we get ready to, to uh, exile. I'm making an hour broadcast as far as that goes. And then, like I said, I, um, if you're watching this on the replay and it's still before 11, 11, PM, or 11 a.m. Uh, Eastern Time here in the States, you want to catch, uh, uh, well, just monitor his, his uh, Twitter page, Tony D. Tony D said he'll be on later, and I'm looking at catching him about 11 o'clock local here. Because he'll be talking about the football. Football's a big deal over here. The the, the American football, not the uh, not uh, not the true football. I, I I've come to terms with where the true football is rugby and uh, the soccer. We call it soccer, but uh, um, uh, over there in Europe and the worldwide, the soccer is called football because they kick the the ball with the foot. Um, our type, the American play a football here in the United States they pass <laughs> there's a lot of people around the world that don't really care for that type of play and they, they say they, they, they don't like the term football as far as that goes but here in the States it's a big deal it's a, it's a uh, it's some good football it's some it's a good sporting event I guess you could say and uh, uh, I enjoy it and like I said, the, the, the college games, uh, I'm watching more college now because I, I don't know if it's because I'm getting older that I appreciate the, the sport more. I can't play the sport. There's no way I could play the sport. I'd play the sport and I'd be, I'd be a bag of broken bones and stuff like that. So, but, uh, I thought you were going to go out. I'm still debating. Oh, you're still debating? Yeah. Is it wet out? It's humid. Is it? Yeah, yeah you, I can feel it through the window. Okay, yeah, the, the missus was thinking about doing a little bit of yard work, but we still have the humidity here. Even though the temperature is um, in the 60s and stuff, the humidity is still there. And let's see, let's see, we got some activity, okay. Um, and JJ, Double J's, he, he, he uh, liked the uh, thought for the day. Courage is is fear holding on holding a minute longer general s Patton. Uh, yeah humidity does so i can't i i like um let's let's see the hottest place i've we have it here too yeah i can imagine yeah the hottest place uh i've ever been in my life is when i was uh in the united states air force and i was stationed in sicily in uh eight, the summer of 82 very hot but very dry we were. Um, I was at uh, Comiso Air Base. We were opening that up. I was there for about three months initially, um, going in there. As far as and uh, it was very interesting. It was very unique. Uh, humidity here can be ninety-five percent. Yeah, that's when it's. Oh man, that's bad. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think the humidity is? What do you think the humidity is? 75% okay the missus says it's about 75% here dry I can handle better than yeah I can dry I can handle the dry heat and stuff like that so that's the hottest and it's dry but uh, um, over when I was in station in the Philippines now back in the day it, uh, even along you know being at the beach you could feel the humidity coming off of the um, 
from the interior. I was up there in northern Luzon Island of the Philippines, and the, the humidity there was up in the 95% range there, Mel. So it's just, uh, yeah, so uh, I'll, I'll, I prefer the dry heat. The dry heat is the best <laughs> as far as that goes. But we'll see what happens. Like uh, this window right here, I'll open and it'll, it'll, it'll get a cool, it's cool in here. It's not bad, but even with this window open, I, the window in the back is open. I can feel some of the humidity coming in the house here and stuff like that. But uh, it's nice having the, the windows open and not uh, running the air conditioner and stuff like that. The air conditioning, uh, I don't like that much air conditioning because it's just, you know, uh, I guess where I work at, there's always there's always air conditioning on, and when you go in and out, in and out of all the buildings that I have to go out in and out of when I'm doing my work, um, it's it, it it's just you go hot, cold, hot, cold, and then it, it doesn't. But then again, in the winter time, it, it I almost uh, it's it's almost uh, overbearing and stuff like that. So okay, we're at. Uh, we just went over our, our one hour mark. We're actually we're at one hour and three minutes, I guess, right? Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and exit stage left here. Mel, 170270. Uh, thank you very much for being here. I uh, greatly appreciate it. You need to go get some sleep, girl. <laughs> okay. Go get some sleep. Um, unless, you know, go sleep for an hour and then you can wake up in an hour to, uh, or in two hours to see, or an hour and a half because Tony said 11 o'clock. Whether he, he, he's here, we don't know. You know, he, he said that. So, uh, but, uh, okay, thanks, Rich. Uh, thank you, Mel. Thank you for uh, coming in here. And like I said, this has been a success. I've had one, one, one person that I know come into the chat, and I greatly appreciate it, <laughs> Mel as far as it goes and you'll check yeah okay if he pops up here on the twitch uh i'll be in the chat with you then and stuff all right folks this is rich roberts at fireman rich here on twitch as well as at fireman rich over there on uh twitter where i tote myself as a social media observer social media enthusiasts in other words i like being on this thing called the internet and uh it's always fun doing so bye to you mel best to you and uh the hubby there as far as that goes um, and we'll be talking to you sometime in uh, a broadcast we'll be back here tomorrow morning definitely for the morning coffee broadcast as we start a new week so you all have a great one wherever you may be on this big blue marble live life have fun ciao for now as always peace thanks again Mel and anybody watching this on the replay thank you also